Money, 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 money. Monday, money, 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 money. <laughs> Monday. Hello, world. I'm Timalyn Langan coming to you from Orange County today, but still in Los Angeles. And I am just here today to share money nuggets and money wisdom with you. I've got my friend Lucy here with me, and we're just going to talk a little bit about the whole concept of mind over money. I've written a book on the subject, and Lucy is a friend, and she's had some wonderful, wonderful insight about this. And since we're always talking about money nuggets and money matters, I thought today I'd invite someone to just come in and have a conversation with you. So here we are. Let me introduce my friend Lucy, guys. Lucy, say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Thank you all for joining us. And Lucy, how are you feeling today? I'm doing great. Good. Doing great. Thanks Good. for having me here today. Oh, I'm happy to have you. Now, Lucy yeah. is a friend, guys, and I just want you to know that. But she has read the book. And Lucy, why don't you tell us how the book has impacted you? Oh gosh, I was so grateful to read it. And I, when I, right from the get go, I was like, wow, this is different. Of all the money books I've read, I'm not good with money. Mm -hmm. I am very uncomfortable around money. So it was very different um, than just giving you do this and do it that way. This is how you count it. This is how you do it. This is how you invest it and whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was more about how I feel about money and my relationship to money mm -hmm. and how do I relate to money and that was new for me yes. and I changed money right. went from and let's talk about that for yeah. one second mm -hmm. not to interrupt you but that is so important guys she said it was about her relationship with money and a lot of times we don't think of us as having a relationship with money we think it's just something that we spend and that's why we talk about it like Lucy said from a different perspective money is emotional your feelings partner with your spending habits so you're absolutely right Lucy we have a relationship with money and when we change those relationships for the better or for the worse then our financial situations get better too and I really and truly believe that so today we're great we're going to talk about money from an integrative perspective a holistic perspective continue my friend All about right, that yeah. so, but she made a good point guys I have to just yes absolutely. elaborate a little bit yeah and it, and it was the relationship with money and it wasn't like my financial situation changed or somehow I have more money but how am I using the money the thing that I loved about your book is using money as a tool. Yes. Money is a tool for me to use. It's not something I have. It doesn't give me a status. It mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, it went from yes. that. And then having that um, mm -hmm. poverty mentality that it's never enough. It's never going to be enough. I, I, I can't do this because I don't have money. I can't do that because I, you know, removing that and going, okay, it's a tool. Yes. This mm -hmm. is what I have. How am I going to use this tool exactly to better my life? Exactly, right? and tools are used to build, guys. When you think about the money tool, if you think about a hammer and you think about a nail, what are you doing with those items? You're building something. You're creating something. So think about using your money to create the life you want, to create the situations that bring you happiness, that bring you joy. And talk about yeah. that a little bit, Lucy, Thank how you you're using that, that tool yeah. now to do that. because you Yes. Thank you for that. Because yeah, instead of going, you know, thinking that um, it's a tool, right? This is what I have. And mm -hmm. how do I use this tool to increase mm -hmm. my satisfaction with my life? Yes. Um, let's say looking at, okay, this is what I have. And I hadn't thought about investing before. And mm -hmm. now I'm thinking about investing. Yes. Like, how am I investing my money? And it's not just, I don't have to have a lot of money to invest my money. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, and how am I investing? How is that showing up in my life? And how am I incorporating a sense of higher power, mm -hmm. sense of God? How, what, you know, because there's abundance. Mm -hmm. I yes. didn't think there was so much abundance. My yes. higher power, my God, is you know absolutely you know powerful right. can provide for me can give me what i want as long as i'm willing to allow for that to come to me okay. so i've changed some things yeah. around and i'm like okay i can cut from here and move it here how do i yeah, manage exactly. this funds right and right. in the book i give you 40 plus ways to cut so that you can manage your money appropriately and one of the things i like too that lucy mentioned is the power of investing 
Guys, that is why you want to use your money like a tool and start cutting the fat. And as I said, in the book, I give you 40 plus ways, things that you can do and easy to implement now. But you cut the fat in your financial spending so that you can invest, so that you can spend on those experiences, the things that matter most to you, what I call those dominant passions. And certainly, I love another thing that you said, too. You know, we both believe in God. We have a higher power. And um, regardless of, you know, what, what your faith is or what your faith isn't, you've got to believe in something bigger than yourself. Because it is challenging. It believe is, me, yes. it's tough trying to build, trying to invest, trying to make ends meet, trying to take care of everything and everyone and trying to just take care of yourself. Life is hard. So you need something other than yourself, something outside of yourself, something bigger than you to depend on in those times of need. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say? Maybe? Yes, mm -hmm. because it's, it builds trust to this that it's going to be okay, that I'm okay. Mm -hmm. If I move money, you know, I have this money and I'm investing in different places. I'm either investing on a dress or I'm investing in my future. Mm -hmm. I'm either investing on a car or I'm investing in, you know, my children's education. Where is my passion? Yes. And where am I putting it? And having that trust that there's going to be enough, that it removes the fear. Yes. Fear yes. of, you know, I've always had a fear of money. Yeah. It's never going to be enough, so I better yes. hold on to it. Or I better, you know, mm. I can't do this because, you know, I didn't invest on my health. Yes. And I've been investing in my health. Absolutely. In the long term, that's a great investment. Yeah. And you know what? Health and wealth go hand in hand. I even did a video on that, too. Investing in your health and in your wealth, that means feeding your mind good spiritual food, good healthy food. They go hand in hand together. And I just want to say thank you, Lucy, for these wonderful words. We just wanted to come to you from Los Angeles, Orange County, and just say, and just say thank you for coming every week. Thank you for checking out Mind Over Money. We wrote, the book is called Mind Over Money, How to Live Like a Millionaire on Any Budget. And I just wrote that book from a place of love. I know what it's like to be emotional and to get caught up in our thinking and have thoughts that kind of that don't steer us in the direction that we want to go so I just wanted to have my friend here come and tell you about her experiences with the book and now we're going to go and have some coffee guys so thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on mind over money and please like subscribe share the video leave your comments in the box below and I'd love to hear your thoughts what would you like me to cover next week all right until then remember Financial success is not a gift, <laughs> it is a habit. <laughs>